In 2 Peter chapter 3, Peter writes that the day of the Lord will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat. Verse 13 gives the good news, but in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where a righteousness dwells. Well, then we might say, how are we supposed to respond to this? Peter tells us in verse 14. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Make every effort. Not because our efforts are going to earn our salvation, but it shows that we are indeed looking forward to a world in which righteousness dwells. If we want to live in that world in the future, then we should want to live that way right now, too. He concludes in verse 17, Be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position. That's an interesting combination. Our position is secure, but we also need to be on guard so that we do not fall away from it. It's like leaving our post. Verse 18, he says, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We know how to grow in knowledge, but how do we grow in grace? Do we sin more so that grace will abound? <laughs> Certainly not, says Paul. That is not what Peter is talking about here. Rather, he seems to be using the word grace as a, a synonym for how we live, how we respond to God's grace toward us. Are we responding with graciousness? Are we responding with righteousness? It's all part of the same package. Dear friends, he might say, if this is what we want, then this is how we should live. To God's glory and honor. Amen.